Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how you can make your iRacing replays switch between lots of different camera angles for a more television style feel. Now I do this for my picture-in-picture -picture replays uh, on my iRacing videos. Um, I've had a few questions about them so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial so that you can see the camera angles switch. So this is one of my replays on the screen now. Uh, you can see it's changed. This is the front left suspension. In a second it's going to change now. This is the uh, gearbox, so it's at ground level facing backwards. In a couple of seconds it's going to change again. This is a, a TV1, I think it is. This is another camera from the TV1 group. But the camera shots are constantly switching. So you don't get just one long lingering shot and sometimes the view gets obstructed. You get lots and lots of nice different action shots to mix up the variety uh, like you would uh, watching racing with a proper TV race director. So I'll show you how to do that. First thing we need to do is to actually go to iRacing. So here we are at iRacing and what we need to do well the first thing we need to do is to have a race that goes without saying once you've had a race at the end of the race save the replay um, you can either do this by clicking in the little spanners icon at the end of the race uh, before you quit or you can set the settings up so that when you quit it will automatically ask you if you want to save the replay which is probably the best way to do it because the amount of times i've quickly come out of a race knowing that i've got another race about to start and I've forgotten to save the replay. So it's uh, it's much better to have it uh, prompt you to save the replay when you actually quit from a race. But once you save your replays, when you come to results and stats here, there's the option My Replays. So we'll click on that and it'll load up all the replays that I've currently got saved. Now, uh, I've got a few on here. We're going to have a look at the one we had at the start, which was Skip Barber at scuba so we'll click play for skip barber at scuba and then it'll start to open up the replay right so here we are in iRacing and we're on the replay screen which is as you know the main screen that you would see before you head out onto the track uh, where you either just jump on the track or you can make the adjustments to your car or your settings so the first thing we need to do uh, in order to start to mess around with the cameras is we actually need to get my car on the track. So let's put me there. So now, if I click this up button, you can see all of the cameras that are predefined in the game. This one here, Replay, is my group of cameras that we saw at the start of the video. And I'm gonna show you how to make a group that will appear in these here. So, um, to show you what each one does, if we look at them in turn, nose is this one here, it's on the front of the nose, it's a ground level view. We go to the next one, which is uh, gearbox, it's at the back of the car, ground level. Then we have roll bar, which is situated just above the driver's head, facing forwards. Then we're focusing on left front suspension, left rear suspension, Gyro, which keeps the uh, the camera sort of moving as you go round. Then we have right front suspension looking forwards, followed by right rear suspension looking backwards. Cockpit, which is the driver's eye view that you get in the game. Scenic is a series of locked off cameras that are dotted around the course. Then we have the TV group cameras. So we have TV1. Now these are panning cameras, but they will always keep the car, which is highlighted here in the bottom corner, um, it will always keep that in the middle of the shot. So at the moment it's focusing on me, but if I go to Franz Hundebull in the black car there, it'll focus on him. If I go forward again to Terry Doyle, it'll focus on him. Let's come back to me.
So TV1 is a group of cameras. Then we have TV2, which is a different group of cameras, but again, tends to pan and focuses on the car that is targeted. Then we have TV3, which again, is a different group of panning cameras. We have one from the end of the pit lane, so you can see cars rejoining. There's the pace car. Then we have pit lane two, which is here, the entry to the pit lane. And we have chopper, which is a helicopter closely following behind uh, the target vehicle. And then we have blimp, which is like the Goodyear blimp, which hovers way above the track and will follow the action. As you can see, it's a very good bird's eye view. Replay is my group. Then we have um, chase, which is quite close behind the car, over the shoulder look. Far chase, which drops you even further back. And if you want to view the front of the car and what's happening behind, you cut to rear chase, which is here. So we're back to nose. So that's cycling all the cameras through. But if you were to choose one of these cameras for the race, for instance, we went for, um, well, let's go for far chase. If I didn't do anything, this view would remain in far chase and it wouldn't change to any of the others. Now, the TV ones, they are groups. So you have this camera facing down the track. It's coming through and then when it passes out of the range of that camera, it passes over to the next camera and that will then pick up the action until the car passes out of range and then it will hand to the next camera and then the next camera and the next camera, etc, 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 until it comes back around to the starting point. So what we want to do is we want to make a group from scratch. So the way we're going to do this is very, very simple. We hold down control and we press F12. This brings up the camera editing page on the right here. On the bottom, we have the ability to change uh, things about the camera. So here, for instance, this is um, camera TV one, camera three. I can zoom in and out on this using the sliders. And you can do that with any of the cameras on their own. You can change any of the um, heights or positions or the zooms from here. There's also keyboard shortcuts. I'll post a link to that in the description below. Um, but we don't want to select a single camera to change. We want to make a group. So if we click on group here, um, all the cameras that are available are on the right. And the group which we're currently looking at here, TV1, it tells you all the cameras which make up that group on the left and then it counts down to zero then it will pass it over to the next camera and it starts at 100 and again counts down to zero so we want to create a group so over here we click on create and it says there new one i'm going to call this one tv director so i put the name in tv director and i'll leave that as it is i now need to populate my group so Let's have, to start with, we'll have the blimp. So we select blimp on the right hand side and then we have these buttons. The left facing button puts it into the active tray and a right facing button would take a camera in the tray and put it back into the available pit on the left. So we've highlighted blimp here. I click on click left and blimp is now here. I want to get rid of TV camera 013. So I'll highlight that, click it back to the right. And at the moment in my group TV director, all I have is blimp so let's add another one let's add well let's go for gyro so we stick gyro in there and we get this view so now my group will alternate between blimp and gyro when I save it let's change again let's see there it goes back to blimp so let's change again let's go to far chase we'll add that So we're back on gyro, it'll then go to blimp and then far chase. Let's go to, let's have the two front suspensions, the wheels looking forward. So left front suspension, we'll add that. Right front suspension, we'll add that. If I want to add any of the groups that already are here, so you can see the range it, the camera is in at the moment. If I want to add the TV1 group, I just simply highlight TV100, add it, then I add the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one, until I get to TV2. So all of the TV1 group are now on the left.
We'll add one more. Let's have a, a rearward facing one, which was gearbox. So we'll put that on the left here as well. And I'm quite happy now that we have one, two, three, four, five, six individual cameras and the TV one group. Now I could press Control and F12. That menu would disappear. And now you can see at the bottom here it says TV Director. This is the group that we've selected, it's currently active. And it's all those cameras that I chose and it's going to cycle through them. I press Control and F12 again. It's the important thing is once I'm happy with what I've got, I need to save it. Now, thinking about it, I don't really fancy having the suspension anymore. So we'll take the suspension out. And we'll just have those cameras there. So I'm thinking, yes, I'm happy with that. I'm going to save it. So I go to Save Track. And I give it a name. And the next time the track loads, it will automatically load. If I'm on this grouping down here, it will automatically revert back to that and, and, and load it directly. So I don't need to start to load track or anything like that. So I'm happy with how that's gone. So again, I'll press Control and F12. That moves. If I want to see the replay without the top and bottom bars, I press Space. And that gets rid of those. And now I have my TV style replays. So as we watch, you'll see that currently we're on the uh, TV grouping because it's just a panning camera. But you'll see it start to change to others. When it runs out of the TV grouping cameras, it will change back to uh, Gearbox and Blimp and Farchase. So that is how it's a very tricky thing to, to do the first time. You have a bit of a practice with it, have a little play and you get used to it very quickly. But that is how you get the group. And if I click on the up arrow here, you'll see that TV Director is now in the middle. Uh, replay is my original one that I use on all my uh, iRacing replays for my videos. But this one here, TV Director, is wrong. We've just created. And again, I can, I can change at any point, either by highlighting these and clicking on them, or if I uh, press the, key, uh, the C key, that will go to the next camera. And if I hold down Shift and press C, that will take me to the previous camera. So, look at the uh, link below for the keyboard shortcuts. But that was how very easily and very simply you can create your own uh, TV director style suite of different cameras that will start to cycle through as you watch the replay, as you would if you were watching um, motorsport on your television. So any questions, just pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you out if you're into your replays. Until next time then, thanks for watching and take care.